Crow 2, City of Angels, Thoughts. Why did they replace him stylishly running across rooftops, as it was in the original, with a motorcycle? Plenty of, you know, <laughs> iconic characters have motorcycles, several superheroes have motorcycles. It's not that interesting. You know, him running across rooftops, there was a bit of a stalking thing to it. He was a crow, you know, he... You might not see him, but he's there. He's stalking you. You are his prey. That is cool. A motorcycle, we've seen it before, and this is by far not the most interesting use of motorcycle. Why was the masturbation scene there? What point is there to the unattractive sight of... <sighs> you know, if it had been done differently, I could see it maybe work. You know, if what we had seen was not him so much, at least, but rather Holly Days, you know, if it had focused on her and gotten the audience into her, gotten the audience thinking, oh, we want to see more of her, and then suddenly, you know, it closes down and the audience is like, oh, come on, bring her back, and then the crow is there, shocking us as well as the character, that would have worked. Instead, it just disgusts us and takes us completely out of the movie, and then the crow is there, okay, whatever. It just... And the movie does this several times, just, you know, takes us entirely out of the movie, and then, you know, and it never really draws us back in. Was there a single poetic justice death in this? I mean, was there any kind of, okay, maybe the very end, you know, the black guy, Judah. Judah who was killed by a murder of crows, because suddenly Ash can channel crows, and he disappears. Why does he disappear? He just vanishes. It's not like they're even pecking at him or something. Just, he disappears. What, did he go to hell? Did... <sighs> I've heard that stuff was cut from this movie, and I've heard people say that it makes it a better movie. I have a hard time believing it because I didn't so much feel like something was missing as much as what was there was pretty shit. And not pretty shit in the, you know, oh, at least it was pretty. No, it was just plain shit. The people throwing flowers at Ash there at the end. Do they just think that it's part of the pageantry of the Day of the Dead? Do they really think that this guy getting dragged across, you know, by his neck, by a rope around his neck, and then getting hung, then getting whipped, that it's just all part of the act? Does no one stop and ponder, hey, what's going on here? The... The increasingly ludicrous ways that a crow was being left behind. Okay, you know, early on we get, like, origami. Okay, if, I think that's what it's called. You know, the little the paper figure in the mouth of the guy. Next, <sighs> Yellow Ranger gets thrown against a car. I could make an inappropriate joke about foreboding, but I won't. Rest in peace. Thui, if that's how we pronounce it. And the blood, I guess, coming from her head just forms the crow. How is there that much blood in that short amount of time? And it just looks ridiculous that it so perfectly formed a crow. I mean, it was used like once in the first one. Once, he pours some gasoline on the floor, or ground, I don't remember exactly, tosses, you know, lights it, and we see the crow in fire. 
the one time, I think, unless I'm remembering wrong, that worked. That was cool. You know, also just seeing it in fire, that's something, you know. And this, okay, the blood, potentially cool, but it was like two seconds after she landed that there was suddenly that much blood. If it had been like people finding her hours later and then it was like that, you know, but... And then... <laughs> flowers for the dead! And there's a crow of flowers. No, just that, that was just retarded. And I suppose that's what there is to say about this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.